Dear Sage Thinker, welcome! This video is a complement of the previous video wherein I explain how to add texture detail everywhere. But today we will see how to add the same result with the same flexibility for especially fabric model. So I don't explain again how to make perfect merge between images and models. You can find the link of the previous video in the description and here in the top right corner. Holy said, let's get started. Like you see, today we work with a pillow. After positioning and merge plane, like we do in the previous video, we have this result. Okay, but I want it. And I want to can do this. First thing, select your fabric model and see the material name. Wool.001 in my case. Now I select my plane and replace the default material by the fabric material Wool.001. I click on the number aside of the name to make a copy of this material only for the plane. In this material, we start to do some tweaks. Texture coordinate doesn't use UV, but object. And which object? The pillow. We use the picker to select it. No, the objective is to match the plane texture scale with the pillow texture scale. Okay, mm, like that. Okay, okay, it's good for me. Next step is to merge our image with the fabric image color. To do that, we add an image texture node and select my design. Voluntarily, I connect nothing in vector input. By default, cycles take UV map and it's exactly what I want. I had a mix RGB node just after the color texture. I link label image and set mix node to multiply. A U saturation node complete the color tweak. In my case, I up the value to 5. And finally, we add the two latest nodes, Mix Shader and Transparent Shader, which I link to the first input socket. The FAC input is derived by the Alpha Image Texture node. Now, see your magic power, you can rotate, scale and move the plane. Your image is always perfectly merged with the fabric. Like you can see, the fabric pattern orientation is all time in the good direction and the scale is constant. More, you can duplicate it and it continues to work. You want to add another image? Just click on the number to duplicate the material and change the image texture source. I'm glad to share this trick with you. This flexibility is very useful in architecture rendering, of course, but you can use the same technique with all what you want. The next Discovery of Technique episode will focus on art of us modeling. If you don't want to miss it, let's subscribe, share this video with your brand of friends and don't forget, we grow tired of everything except learning. Bye bye. Thank <laughs> you.